All right, guys. Pain is good. Well, or so says the bottle. Let me do another hot sauce review. This one is a mild hot sauce from Pain is Good. This is batch number 66, jalapeno wasabi. And um, it says 100% natural. I've done Pain is Good reviews before. This one should not be as hot as the other one. So hopefully it packs a lot of, uh, of flavor because it's going to be lacking a little bit in the heat. At least that's what it's advertised as, so I'll let you know. But uh, so far, the other line of products from Pain is Good have all been uh, pretty darn hot, so we'll see. Um, this one on the back says, From the ancient kitchens float the aroma of fresh ingredients and unique seasoning. Then comes the finishing touch, wasabi, the pure fresh heat that ignites the flavors of the Orient. Discover new sensations and why uh, in Japan they call wasabi namita, the word for tear. Shed your own joy with batch number 66. Pain is good. Made in USA, product of Kansas. Okay, so ingredients on this are jalapeno peppers, horseradish, which most uh, wasabi that we're used to is in fact, uh, you know, dyed horseradish. It's not true wasabi. True wasabi is very expensive. In fact, to this day, I don't believe I've ever had true wasabi. So I am going to be on a mission to get actual authentic wasabi to try because it's supposed to be a lot stronger. But anyway, jalapeno peppers, horseradish, water, white vinegar, corn syrup, orange juice, concentrate, ground mustard, wasabi. Oh, so there's real wasabi in this. Um, tick gum, which is another, oh, I guess it's a combination of xanthan gum, guar gum, and sodium alginate. That doesn't sound very good for you. I guess a thickening agent. Anyway, lime juice concentrate, natural color, and spices. So... Let's try it. Let's give it a little shake. Grab the old Spyderco Cricket, which has been my dedicated hot sauce knife. And let's open it up. We'll give it a little sniff. And then we'll try it. Okay. Wow, top's on there pretty good. All right. So, not a whole lot of fans out there wasabi flavor. Some people think it, think it's nasty. I happen to like the flavor, but I more like the heat from it. Okay, so first off, this thing stinks, but in a good way. It smells, it smells just like the top of a good chili dog minus the chili. And what I mean by that, is I smell I smell like a mixture of really good spicy mustard and sauerkraut. That's exactly how it smells. And there's no, well, is there mustard in here? I don't even remember what I read. I just read it. Where is it? Um, yeah, there's ground mustard in it. Okay, so that makes sense. But the sauerkraut, that does not make sense. There's no sauerkraut in this. But I guess maybe the vinegar. Anyway, all right, so yeah, it smells like a sauerkraut, mustard, like hot dog topping combo, which I love, uh, although I don't have a hot dog right now, so I don't know how good that's going to taste, but we'll see. It's supposed to be mild, so I'm going to go kind of heavy on the spoon here. It's a thicker consistency. Okay, let's, well, I'll load up on it. All right, so hopefully you guys can see that spoonful. He goes nothing. Ew. Well, yeah, ew. I don't know. It's really mixed results. Okay. First, first thought initially is the texture is really weird. It's like um. The texture is almost like paper mache. Imagine like paper mache, and you just you know like just wet newspaper falling apart like paper that's moist. It's just it's a really weird consistency. Of course, I'm trying this alone and not on food, which might make a difference. But I don't know what I would put this on offhand. Um, seemed like an interesting concept. I love jalapenos. I like wasabi. Let's talk about flavor for a minute. Texture is definitely out there, 
freak me out. Don't like the texture. Okay, heat-wise, yes, it's very mild. Very, very mild. You don't get any kind of pungency from the wasabi or the horseradish or even the jalapeno. In fact, it's it's less hot than a fresh jalapeno. So if you can uh, handle jalapeno, you can definitely handle this. Um, flavor is not that bad. It's just the texture really threw me. I'm getting mostly the horseradish flavor. Uh, very, very little wasabi and very little jalapeno flavor, which is kind of a disappointment because I like both those flavors. In fact, the jalapeno is one of my favorite, one of my favorite tasting peppers. Um, yeah, this one's not that great. It's just kind of so-so, but it's not hot. So, I mean, if you're looking for something that happens to have this type of flavor and you're not really super into heat, then it might be the one for you. Not for me, though. Capping it up. Uh, flavor rating, 1 to 10. I'll give this like a three. Kind of a disappointment. Um, heat wise, I will give it a uh, one. It's just barely letting your mouth know that it's supposed to be hot. So a three and a one. Not so great. But I'm going to move on and do another hot sauce review because, uh, like I said, this was kind of a disappointment. So I want to try to spark it up a little bit, light a fire in the old mouth, and then I'll call it a day. But, uh, yeah, it's not. It's not really not that hot. But then again, it's not that flavorful either. I don't know. Uh, what I like, you you may not like, and vice versa. Maybe I don't like this one, and you absolutely love it. But the point of a review is just to give you one person's perspective on it. If let's say three or four other people get this and don't like it as well, and please, by all means, if you get any anything I ever review, if you happen to own it already, or if you end up picking it up because of the review. Please always leave comments. They're always appreciated because you're really going to want multiple um, uh, thoughts on a product of any kind before you can really make a sound decision as to whether the you know majority of the people like it or not, and for whatever reasons. So, yeah, it's just kind of eh. it's hit and miss with hot sauce, and this one for me was just a miss. So can't win them all. Anyway, still appreciate you watching. I thank it. I I thank it. Anyway, still appreciate you watching. As always, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, guys. The jalapeno wasabi paint is good. Uh, I'm going to bump up the heat level from a 1 to like a 2. Because uh, <laughs> as soon as I shut the camera off, for some reason, it started building a little bit more. So it was a little bit delayed there. But yeah, it's a little bit harder than I thought. It still, still doesn't taste all that great, to be honest. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. And I'm really leaving for now. So uh, thanks for watching. Take care.